Okay, another short video on how to position and collimate for your VD thorax. Again, DV thorax is going to be very similar. Um, they're just turned into sternal recumbency or ventral recumbency because you're going to need their heads laying a little bit more flat. Uh, so VD thorax, you're going to make sure you put your patient in dorsal recumbency so they're on their back. You're going to use your V tray. This is where positioning is of the utmost importance because you need to make sure your sternum stays above your spine. Any kind of crookedness not only shifts that, but shifts the position of the heart and it will become considered non-diagnostic. So you're in VD position, your or dorsal recumbency VD position, you're gonna line up your light so that the cranial edge is equal to your thoracic inlet your manubrium or the the shoulder joint so as you can see it all falls about the same point it depends on whether we're talking soft tissue or bone what you can feel or see your caudal aspect of your light is going to be equal to the 13th rib and that's very easy to feel as you come down the side and you can feel the ladder or the caudal aspect of the 13th rib so the furthest point backwards you're going to make sure your patient is nice and even this way not shift it this way or this way. Your front legs are going to be pulled forward and they're going to be make sure that they're even this way as well as this way. Shifting this way or that way, this way or this way, will again put that curve in there. You want their heads to be looking straight up and down because that will also put a curve to the spine. You're gonna extend the back legs out just a little bit. It's not as drastic as with the abdomen and you're going to take this radiograph on full inspiration, like right right there. Okay, that is your positioning and collimation for your BD thorax. Yeah,